before we get into this video, do me a favor and subscribe to the channel. Why is that? Because I talk all things Detroit Lions news and rumors. We have a fun time doing show, trying to grow the chat sports ladder. Right now, we're at 35,106, trying to get to 36,000. So why? I do constant coverage, and that's what we do on this channel. Without further ado, let's get this thing started. <music> lot of rumors regarding the Detroit Lions in trades and so in this video we're going to go over the names that has been rumored to the Detroit Lions what the trade comp would be from my perspective as well as the NFL draft trades because they're always going to be a part of this so without further ado let's talk about the first one here and this is the one that happened over the weekend the Lions apparently made a phone call to the Denver Broncos and acquiring about Cortland Sutton. Sean Payton came out and said he's not trading Sutton or any of the wide receivers for that matter, but you got to take that with a grain of salt because GMs and head coaches love to lie. We've seen it. TJ Hawkinson told he was not going to get traded. Hell, we just had a tight end over there from the Raiders. Waller get traded to the Giants when the same thing happened to him. So it is what it is. In my trade, the Denver Broncos get pick 55. That is our second second round pick. And the Lions receive Cortland Sutton. Sutton is that prototypical X wide receiver. He would replace DJ Chark. Jared Goff would have another big body weapon to throw the football to. Now you say, Mike, when you look at Sutton's stats last year, they weren't that great, and I concur with you. They also had a bad quarterback in Russell Wilson and a horrendous head coach that was confused like no other. So when you look at Cortland Sutton last year, he played in 15 games, reliable, 64 receptions for 829 yards and two touchdowns. If you look at his career, he had 65 games, He's always playing 239 receptions for 3,487 yards and 14 touchdowns. You take that production was pretty good for his career, and now you put him on a team that actually has a quarterback and weapons around him. You have Amon Ross, St. Brown, Jamison Williams, Josh Reynolds, Khalif Raymond, and Quintus Cephas. You remove Cephas, you put Sutton in there. Now you have a dynamic of five wide receivers that the Lions could go ahead and smoke teams with. Continue this offense that's a juggernaut with Ben Johnson and give another weapon to Jared Goff. I'm not going to complain about that one. And we do have the money to get it done because the Lions got the third most cap space. So would you trade for Cortland Sutton? Put T for trade or P for pass. Let me know your thoughts. Let's go into my number two trade idea and that's the Lions trading for Jeffrey Simmons, the defensive tackle from the Tennessee Titans. He Look, he don't want to be a Titan anymore. He took his information off his social about the Tennessee Titans. And the Lions need a defensive tackle in a big way. So in this scenario, the Lions get Jeffrey Simmons and the Titans get the second round pick, our first one, 48 overall. I think if you added... Simmons to the Detroit Lions defensive line. You're adding a player that is a need for this football team. He's not old. You're wreaking havoc. You're getting that defensive line really stout up the middle because if you look at the depth chart of the Detroit Lions at the defensive tackle position, it's not that great. You have a Lee McNeil. We're, we like him. Isaiah Bugs as a rotational player. Benita Jones, Demetrius Taylor, Levi and Wuzurike, who hasn't been healthy. So Lions have a major hole at defensive tackle. It's probably the biggest hole right now on this football team. If you get Simmons, you're plugging a hole, and you can still have plenty of draft capital to complement the defensive line if you want to get better there. Wide receiver, wherever you want to go, I think it would be a big thing for the Lions to upgrade that position in a big way. Look, they can go in the draft and they could get a Jalen Carter or a Kalijah Kansi or a Mozzie Smith, whoever you want or like to get in the NFL draft. And I concur. I think the Lions definitely should look in the NFL draft. But if you have the ability to get a player like Simmons and it's for a second round pick, I think that would be a good 
you know, a trade value for him. You're getting a veteran immediately on this defensive line that's going to make an immediate impact. He's not a rookie. You don't have to worry about this guy. He works hard. He's a mauler. He's a baller. He will blow up offensive lines. With Jalen Carter, you do have some issues. Is this guy... Good at first off, is he going to be there first one? I, th- I think he will be, but you got to worry about his personality, his work ethic after going to the, you know, his 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 pro day and slobbing the thing. So you don't have to worry about that with a player like Simmons. And if you're trying to get a Kalijah Kansi at 18, will he actually be there? So you're you're kind of risking it. Maybe he's already gone by then. And you're like, dang, I didn't get the guy who I wanted to get, who I, I thought would be a value pick. And you don't really know how well he's going to perform. So that's an option. To me, look, I'm looking at getting defensive tackle on all part of this football team, whether it be the draft or or in a trade, I look at all ideas. Let's go into my number three trade idea. Now, we've heard this. He could potentially be on the trade market, and that's Ed Oliver. So the Lions receive the Lions' third-round pick, 81 overall. The Lions get Ed Oliver. Now, he's a big name, but his production wasn't as big as you would expect. That's why it's for a third-round pick. So who wins this trade? L for Lions or B for Bills? Let me know your thoughts on this one. Go ahead and follow me also on Twitter. That is at Mike Kimber. You can follow me right there. Follow me on Twitter. I'm trying to I'm trying to get to 2,000 followers. So if you're not a follower and you got Twitter, go ahead and do that. Again, I think Ed Oliver to me would probably be the player I would not want to really get. I'd rather go Simmons first in the draft, but. For a third-round pick, I think I could do it because it's a third-round pick. Still, he is a good player in the NFL. His production is good at quarterback hurries. He needs to get better at sack at the quarterback, and he is a presence. You're going to have to pay him, too. So you got to understand that. It's not just getting the guy. You're going to have to pay him because he wants to get money. So that is something. That's why I pushed it down a little bit. Let's go ahead to go into my fourth trade idea, and this is this is realistic here. This is the NFL draft trade down scenario. So the Lions are sitting at six, and the Tennessee Titans want to get their quarterback, whether it be Will Levis or Anthony Richards, who is there. The Lions decide to trade down with the Titans, so the Lions move from six to 11. The Titans get six overall. The Lions get the first round pick, 11th pick. We add a third round pick, 72, so you give the Detroit Lions Two first-round picks, two second-round picks, and two third-round picks. You can take those thirds in a second or one of the, both of them and move up back in the first round to get another talent. But most importantly, I think part of this trade is you're getting a first-round pick in 2024. You are giving yourself options for next year to have capital to move up in this draft. Say Jared Goff falters a little bit and you love one of those quarterbacks, well, you have two first-round picks, you can move up and get a player to replace him, and that's going to be a great quarterback draft. Say Jared Goff does good, but we still need more weapons. The Lions, they get close to, to you know, NFC Championship. We just need a little more players. Will you have another first-round pick to acquire whatever you need to get? a defensive tackle, a cornerback, wide receiver to really strengthen this football team like the Philadelphia Eagles have done in the past couple of years. It'd be the same type of situation. For me, for the Detroit Lions to go and make a trade and to get a another pick, I think that would be ideal. You get a pick now, and you get a pick next year. I would love to accumulate another first-round pick next year. Now, if you look at the Titans, they're probably going to be pretty good, a mid-level team, uh, close to the playoffs, maybe not. So you're getting a teen pick, whether it be from 15 to 19. And the Lions, you suspect, will pr- if they win the NFC North or playoff game, they're in the 20s. So you can pair that up, and you can move up. And if you really want to get greedy and you're trying to get a, a top-end cornerback, you can add another draft pick to the 2025. But at least it gives you another first-round pick to make a move. And I think... If you're Brad Holmes and you watch what good teams have done, like the Philadelphia Eagles, and I have from afar, I think that's something you got to look for. So, would the Detroit Lions trade down? Will they? 
Let me know. If they will trade down, what team would you want the Lions to trade with? It doesn't have to be the Titans. It could be the Raiders right after the Lions. It could be with the Atlanta Falcons. It could be a team farther away with the Washington Commanders. Let me know in the comments below. What team would you like the Lions to trade down with? Let's continue on to my final trade here, and that is moving up in the NFL draft. The Detroit Lions in this scenario want to get their premium talent. Potentially a Will Anderson here. The only way to secure that is to probably move up to number three with the Arizona Cardinals. The Cardinals, they lack draft picks, and they want to move down. So for the Detroit Lions here, they move up to number three, but they got to give up pick six. Pick 48, that's their first second round pick, and one of their sixth round picks. So... The Lions still have a second-round pick and pick 18, but they get Will Anderson or somebody else they covet. Maybe it's another player, but to me, it'd be Will Anderson. You guaranteed to have bookends now at the edge position with Aiden Hutchinson, Will Anderson. That is a strong-as-hell defensive line, smashing quarterbacks in. You're really setting up your team great for the NFC North uh, division winners, not just this year, but multiple years because you got young talent there at the edge position on the defensive line. You're doing better, and maybe at pick 18, you get a Kalija Kansi. This team is looking ridiculous with talent. I think that's something that the Lions absolutely should look at is to trade up and trade down. Give me your thoughts in the comments below. Would you trade up to pick three and would you do it with this comp or what would be your comp to move up got videos dropping every single day monday tuesday wednesday thursday friday saturday all day for our beloved detroit lions because that's what we do on here so make sure you hit that notification bell make sure you don't forget and i'll see you later